success in the Kitwe El Copala Derby means a lot to the fans and any of the two teams than any other fixtures as there's a lot of pride at stake. Welcome to the Arthur Derby Stadium in Kitwe Copala Province for the Kitwe Derby and this one pits Power Dynamos up against Nkana Football Club. Weather-wise, 29 degrees centigrade. It's a very hot afternoon, boiling hot at some point, but it's 11 kilometers per hour in terms of the wind speed. So this is the yellow section and they're better known as Ava Yellow, Eva Wako. And uh, that's one of the fans, uh, Tassila, always a regular feature in terms of uh, the Power Dynamo's colors. And these are the Nkana Traveling Part two. Remember that uh, these two teams are separated by the Ndola Kito Duo Carriageway, even as the two teams make a grand entry led by the match commissioner, and that's Aaron Nkole. So on the left on your screen is Nkana Football Club, who were a few days ago bombed out of uh, the Total Cup Confederation Cup by Club Sportif Sfaxian of Tunisia. And on the right, the home side, the yellow submarine, and that's uh, Power Dynamo. So, for these fans, both the Nkana or the Power Dynamo's fans, it's about pride at stake. Any other result does not matter. It is the derby that is separates these two sides. Something similar to Orlando Pirates versus Kaiser Chiefs. And I'll tell you, this weekend in terms of African club football, this is certainly a big one for you. In a moment, I'll be introducing you to the two teams' lineup, starting with the home side, Power Dynamos. So, from the last game that they played, uh, they've made three changes. In comes the number two, Alan Kamwanga Jr. He takes up the place of Luca Chamango, who's on the subs bench. David Daka finds his face in the first 11, taking up the place of Lame Kafuaya. Kingsley Mukuka, relegated to the bench and his position, taken up by the experienced discman Kennedy Mudenda, the number 12. So, Kaiwa and Daka, in terms of the tactical formation, these are going to line up. Mudenda, Larry Wire as the captain, Makwaza Jr. and Clifford side in the midfield, and of course, Alan Kamwanga, part of the defensive setup. For the visitors in Kana Football Club, they've made two changes from the team that uh, lost against Club Sportif Faxian of Tunisia. In comes the number 24, Lyson Tole. He takes up the place of player coach Joseph Musonda, who's not uh, part of the playing party today, but on the technical side. And of course, uh, Festa Simbewe, given a run out ahead of Shadrach Musonda, who is not part of the team this afternoon. So, two changes that coach Beston Chambesh has made. Clear indi indication, it is an attacking formation that is coming up with. Experienced panel of match officials, uh, together they've done 15 derbies, led by Wisdom Chewe, who is in charge of his sixth derby with Kabwa Chances, the first assistant, Oliver Mwene, our second assistant, and of course, fourth official, being Chirufia Mangelwa. A big examination for 72-year-old Fordson Bobby Moore Kabole. He's back in, at the Power Dynamo's job that uh, he once held, and that's uh, in 2012, seven years ago, when he was uh, fired. And of course, that was a result of uh, Power Dynamo's being beaten by Chukwi Sama Zembe in Continental Club action. So he's back and now in charge of the business. Quicksilver, best on Chambeshi. Former Power Dynamo's coach, now on the other side of the bench. The first meeting between these two sides saw Tambeshi losing 2 new at the Nkana Stadium. So it's about redemption time this time around and maybe hoping to get a result this afternoon here at a sort out packed Arthur Davis Stadium in Kitwe, Copperboard Province. It is a 32nd meeting between these two sides dating back to the year 2000. And I'll tell you what, in the recent meetings, it's in Power Dynamos that have got a slight advantage over Nkana Football Club. Although Nkana will find solace in the fact that uh, when they've come here at the Arthur Davis Stadium, they've suddenly managed to put a lot of pressure and at least managing to get a draw each time they come up against the yellow side, which is Power Dynamos. John Soko in the first 11, one of the players that have come from the Young Power setup, but now an important and integral part of uh, this uh, Power Dynamos side. Festus Mbewe, one of the two changes that uh, coach uh, Beston Chambesh has made this afternoon. And so, Wisdom Chewe, his sixth derby in charge, the Kawa Bears match official. And I'll tell you what, we're in for some exciting football. Tell you what, grab the front row seat so you don't miss a uh, thing as the world of champions super sports in the splendor of high definition brings you the part two of uh, the Kito derby. Now, Chewe blows the start of uh, this... Uh, Power Dynamos, Ava Yellow versus Ava Red, and we're live from the Arthur Davis Stadium. And of course, uh, it is uh, Power Dynamos who are defending the goal on the left on your screen, and of course, uh, attacking in the opposite direction. Already, action uh, 
moving uh, so quick from one end to, to the other. Good dummy. A foul by Ben Adamba. And so a player will be stopped. Chewa will have a word with uh, the Power Dynamos, rather than the Kana Football Club centre back. Ben Adamba, one of the most experienced players, even as I introduce my co commentator, Mukamba Mwenda Jr. Indeed, thanks a lot, Matimba, for that. It was uh, David Daka. Uh, ben knowing full well that Devi has a lot of pace, uh, known each other for a while now when Devi played for Zanako and later on Zesco. He will be expected to just make those runs. Kamwole knows full well that uh, if his team scores early, they will settle slightly faster. Attack is on by Power Dynamos, but uh, opposed at the back shown by Lyson Tolle. Well, this is what you expect uh, leaving up to his beating as uh, the Kitwe Derby. Of course, uh, in the case of Kelvin Mubanga Kampamba, formerly of uh, Power Dynamos, now coming up against his former side. Now, Mubanga with the attack gets the better of uh, the Power Defense. Opportunity for him to whip in across. He does that's exactly that. Teed up nicely by Mbewe. And. Uh, Ramadan well, hoping to get a shot there, give the ball and good blockade by Govenda Simwala. So bright start for the Inkana side. Now ah, Kumchacha. Larry was just trying to set up things. Clifford side looking for the run from uh, David Daka. So bright start for the Inkana side who are pushing uh, Power Dynamos in their own half with two minutes played here at the Arthur Davis Stadium. I'll tell you what, sort out. Every space has been taken up. Now. Mubanga Kampamba. Foul on uh, Reynold Sate Sate Kampamba after the challenge that came through from Clayford's side, who is playing his fifth game for Power Dynamos. It was the former Kawaii Soccer Academy player. Well, Sate Sate just uh, dropping a bit deeper as Mubanga Kampamba looks to spread that ball slightly. He knows this stadium fully well, having played for Power for quite some time, and is probably coming back here to haunt them. Set piece specialist had a decent game out at continental level when they lost to Sfaxian of Tunisia. Oh, Canada today were not in their traditional our red, red uh, jersey, but this is one of the uh, way strips that the team plays. Uh, Mubanga Kampamba complaining to referee wisdom chair that uh, maybe the war one man human war that has been put up by David Daka is too close. Mubanga now whips in one and uh, what's the chance uh, by Kelvin Mubanga Kampamba? Like Puka said, there's a free kick set piece specialist, but that one, uh, nothing to worry the goalkeeper. Goal kick for Power Dynamos. And uh, Power Dynamos has been a lot of uh, changes in terms of the goalkeeping department. Uh, with uh, Ronan Mulenga, Joshua Titima, and of course Jackson Kakunta, who is uh, the second choice goalkeeper this afternoon, uh, being given a run out. Now, oh, good control by Power Dynamos with Alan Kamwanga Jr. In the middle of the park, Clifford side. Waria, Larry. Spreads it wide to Govenda Simwar, who has entered into the Nkana Football Club half. Wide, still maintaining shape with uh, David Daka on the right channel. Takes it back to Benson, Sakala. But four players have made the run. Uh, Makwaza Jr. is one of them. Opportunity for them to whip in a cross, but the experience of Bernard Amba once again showing Getting the better of uh, Rariwa, who could not uh, get anywhere closer to whipping in a cross uh, from the player who was voted the most disciplined during the 2018 uh, MTN Awards. Go kick for the Kana Football Club side. Earlier on, I was talking about the changes in the goalkeeping department, and the same can be said about in Kana. Lately, now it's Kelvin Malunga who's been uh, given the responsibility to be in between the sticks for the the red side. Long ball looking for the run from David Daka, but suddenly clearly offside. And a right call by the first assistant, Chan Sakawe. Oh, Daka finding uh, some uh, game action uh, and some game here at uh, Power Dynamos at Arthur Davis Stadium. Uh, of course, uh, it wasn't the same story when he was at uh, Zesco United. Now, Ben Adamba, Malambo, Shadrek. Oh, to hand out awards, I'll give him as the most consistent with the power side. He's moving from arrows now. Malambo, he's entered into good position, bringing across, and uh, corner it is for Kana Football Club. So Malambo has given enough space 
and no one was closing him down and almost at the time when he was about to take the shot and that's when the reaction from the power dynamos defense came through not giving him that opportunity to take a shot at goal so corner for Mkana football club the two ones in Bewe first has a lot of movement almost turning out to be more like a wrestling uh, wwe pay-per-view specials in the box because that does show in the world of champions super sport now corner for Mkana football club and uh, as usual from this position as is the case with most uh, responsibilities that come from uh, set piece situations it is kelvin mubanga kampamba reason one goalkeepers made a decisive touch on the ball second chance now opportunity and uh, he just rolls a bit high from Renault sate sate kampamba Ronald will not be too pleased uh, that kampamba was left unmarked but they should get some appreciation from the Nkana fans so given space that is what is capable of doing kampamba there Oh, it's a long ball that's put from uh, Kelvin Muranga Kampamba to Shadrick Malambo after the parry from uh, the young man Lawrence Mulenga. And Sati Sati just fails to redirect it in uh, the goal way, so to say. It was probably a, an attempt or a short come assist because Shadrick Malambo just failed to hit it strongly and it went to Sati Sati. No. Attacked by Kennedy Mdenda, the disc man. First time I'm seeing him uh, make a contribution. The movement was not read, read, well read out uh, between uh, Martin uh, Kayua and Debbie Daka were slow, seemingly thinking that they were in the offside position. Kana start at the back now with Lyson Tole. Benadam Ba. Looking for his captain. Good touch on uh, from uh, Renaud Sate Sate Kampam. Of course, uh, Nkana this afternoon missing the services of three influential players in uh, Fredri El Sutra Shimenga, Walter Sabwa Binene Walia, and uh, Harrison Chisala. A push on uh, David Daka by Ben Adamba. It's the second time now Ben is finding himself in that position. Maybe a lot of uh, pressure on the experienced uh, former Zesco United man. Well, they're playing uh, a little bit too high up the pitch. And David Daka has got a lot of pace on Ben Ba. If he leaves him for dead, it might be troublesome for them. Now, set piece situation for the Power Dynamo side. Govenda Simwala. We've seen one in the box. Gonna do very well defensively at the back uh, with Moses Nyondo and uh, just a chance by the experienced uh, Kennedy Mudenda. He does offer his apologies. Because Mudenda has been with Power Dynamo since uh, 2006. He... So more than uh, 12 years, Mudenda has been around uh, this uh, Power Dynamo side, uh, the disc man. Strong uh, goal kick taken by goalkeeper Malunga. Uh, good control by Moses Nyondo, the former Zambia under 20. One touch football from Ramadan. Now playing more in the attacking role on the right channel. Ah, uh, interchange is good. Offside flag stays down. Chance for Ramadan bringing across. And uh, well, it'll be interesting to see corner for Mkana Football Club. It's like the final touch of the ball from the Taifa Stars International came off the feet of uh, the Power Dynamo's defense. So, seems in Kana are really benefiting from a bit of uh, navy moments uh, each time they're making movement in that uh, Power Dynamo's goal. Corner now to be taken by Hassan Kamis Ramadan from Kana Football Club. Comes in inside. Neda is good, but cleared out uh, by Alan Kamwanga Jr. But only just because Duncan Octieno. The Kenyan retains possession from Kana. Switches play excellently. The two unmarked players at the far right. Gift Zulu is one of them. Delay to reach the pass to Ramadan was uh, just right behind him. Was waiting for that pass to come through now. Malambo, Shadrek. Today he's finding himself in more decent places and uh, loving the overlaps. Clifford, ball, Clifford side a little bit slow in taking out that ball. Nothing given and power survived. But only just because uh, Kayuanao has to get uh, the attack forward with Ninos Makwaza Jr. Too much power behind that ball from Linus Makwaz and Kana composure at the back. Suddenly, that, this is what it means when a team plays uh, continental club football. Kampamba is hoping to have the one touch football pass to go to Lyson Tolly, who had overlapped on the left. Kana 
Position lost by Clifford Sainz. Second time. Now come up opportunity and it's a goal! Ten minutes in the first half. And the landlord, Renard Sata Sata Kampamba, puts in Ghana Football Club in the lead. It is an important one. And of course, his first in the domestic league and his fifth overall in the derby have been last scored uh, last year in 2018. So an important goal and the first one for Renault Sata Sata Kampamba in the 2019 season. And that's what the Ghana captain is capable of doing when he's given a lot of space. So power have been punished. The brilliance comes from the middle from uh, Ronald Mubanga Kampamba. Nice ball. The weight on the ball is almost perfect. Sate Sate can only do one thing. Selim Edami. And it's stolen in the quest by that man, Mubanga Kampamba. Threaded into Kelvin Kampamba. And all he has is to sell a dummy and go for the far post. That's the brilliance of the striker who knows exactly what to do. I honestly feel that Lawrence Mulenga should have done slightly more. Probably just uh, strike some fear in the captain of Nkana. But it was that precision of play that was lost. So the fifth for Renaud Sate Sate Kampamba in uh, Derby's. His first one in the 2019 season. And it is Aba Yellow New and Aba Reggie One. So the breakdown, the mistake all started with Clifford side. Oh, that's a lot of pressure playing in the derby for the very first time for the former Fringilla Football Club midfielder. Now, Simuala Govenda. One touch from the captain, Rani Water. Bit of pressure coming through. And uh, good reaction and good recovery from uh, Shadrach Malambo. Who will not allow the cross to come through from uh, Govenda Simuala. It's a bright start uh, for the Inkana side. A lot of pressure for the likes of uh, the first assistant coach, uh, George Shilufia now. So they have to come back. Although we did say at the beginning of this broadcast that uh, Kana Football Club have somewhat been dominant when they play here at uh, the Arthur Davis Stadium. But they've got a corner now and an opportunity maybe to restore parity. Malunga to organize his defense as the goal custodian for this uh, Nkana Football Club side. Corner to be taken by Govenda Simwala, the son of uh, the late Moses Simwala, chairman. Now, corner comes through. It's brought inside opportunity and uh, picked up by Kelvin Malunga. There's not so much power behind that ball, but it'll be about question marks of uh, how that uh, connection was made, even when uh, Nkana Football Club has got the likes of uh, Ben Adam Bar just to close down. So, big question for the 40, 72 year old. Uh, 72 year old uh, power dynamo coach. Now, Mbewe, Festas, spreads it wide to Kelvin Mubanga Kampamba. Tole is calling for the ball. Too close to the goalkeeper. A bit selfish from Mubanga. Should have easily laid it left on the left where Tole had made the run. Otieno. Just putting it forward. Chested nicely by Mubanga Kampamba and throw in for Nkana Football Club. In fact, it's actually a free kick. There was a Big bang behind the back of uh, Kelvin Mubanga Kampan, but George Schiffer just edging his boys to up his tempo, up the tempo rather. Ah, Mubanga Kampan. Just the beating of uh, Benson Sakala who goes down. Looks like uh, there was a bit of a trade now. Now Kampamba. Chance now for a second one. Set by the goalkeeper and it's taken out by Festus in Bewe. So, Power Dynamo Sydney not uh, managing to keep up the pace of uh, the likes of uh, Renault Sate Sate Kampan, but once they're in that oh, in, in and around that area. The interchange of play there is the undoing. And if you look at it, it's uh, that pass again to Sate Sate. Ramadan just threads it through. No cover whatsoever. Govenda in sixes and sevens. And it's, it's, it's a really weak reaction coming from the power team. The defense not, co not, not really gelling. There's problems there, clearly. And it doesn't help that they've gone down by one goal to nil. This man here is on a brace. And he can smell blood. Well, the Kana fans are already celebrating as if the game has finished. Uh, somewhat reminiscent of what we see uh, during uh, matches that are played uh, in North Africa. That's the style of uh, support and. Uh, the way they celebrate the goals, but 
for the power fans to talk about what could have been done right or what needs to be done right. Obviously, not too pleased with the proceedings thus far. But we're hoping maybe things will change. So, overall, since uh, 2000, in terms of the home meet, is uh, Power Dynamos has uh, played uh, Nkana 15 times. Power has won five, drawn six, lost four, scoring 17 goals, allowing 14 plus three in terms of the goal difference. The steal once again for the first goal in the middle. Sate Sate just goes over Lawrence Mulenga. Mulenga would have done slightly better, but it's a brilliance of Sate Sate. You do not allow a player of his caliber in that space. He can sniff it. Fox in the box. And him and Muwanga Kampamba, that is uh, Ronald Sate Sate Kampamba, having a conversation and say, I think we can nick in two more and see how we can move your tally up. It's really strange that this is the first goal that Sate Sate has scored this season. As much as they've played a lot of continental football, he'll be looking to increase that number. Well, of course, for Kampamba, he did score last year in the derby. And that was uh, on April 2. It was around four game when uh, he scored the face save and Kana were beaten 2 1. Rigan Nkui and Kelvin Mubanga Kampamba. Then on the shirts, in the shirt of Power Dynamo, scored in the first and the 84th minutes uh, of that match. Kampamba with the first save in the 58th minute. So Kampamba scoring his fifth in the derby and, and thereby going uh, as uh, the leading goal scorer now for the Kana Football Club. The present Kana squad in terms of the derbies so far. Now turns for an equalizer and uh, he hits the side netting. Oh, it was easier for David Ducker to just easily bring it in, seeing that uh, the angle was very narrowed uh, with uh, Kelvin Mubanga, who did not. Uh, Kelvin Malunga, I beg your pardon. Or rather just lob it or chip it over the goalkeeper had already committed himself at the near post. Fast paced and David Ducker makes the run. The boys put there. Again, the angle made very difficult. It's always.